smoothing out the walls, getting ready for paint. Kitchen is getting close to completion. Carrie has been doing all the work on that department. I've been busy <laughs> just playing with camera equipment. Speaking of, I got some things to unbox. You just can't unbox them on the kitchen well, that's counter. It's the perfect place to unbox it. Swah! This is apparently something called a Movemax N2 R Mini. It looks pretty heavy duty. I believe this is supposed to work with like a Ronin RS2. I have the boxes underneath. It's not gonna describe. I'm gonna put it away, don't worry. Okay, I will move. I'm sorry. It looks like this one comes to us from Small Rig. I'm actually a fan of some of the small cages they make and they make uh, articulating arms, you know, the things you use to hang your monitor or whatever. They make decent budget ones of those. But now I think they are making lights. So this is supposed to be one of those really low cost bi-color lights, which is cool. I think Aperture has some that are just like this actually. I feel like one of the tough things about testing out lights is that they take a long time to really see if there's any discoloration. Like after hundreds and hundreds of lamp hours, how does it look then? Striking, I think. Oh, there it is. 6500 and I just dial that in for the color. Okay. Effects like faulty bulb. And I wonder if I can dial the color of this faulty bulb. Yeah, looks like it's so super easy to figure out. I literally figured this out in like 10 seconds, so I do like that. Oh my God, I gotta turn this setting off. Still want to compare this with the Aperture one just to really see what's out there. But I mean, first impressions, decent. Ah. And this one is the 120D. That's what they used to call Aperture's light, right? Is this the 120D or something else? RC 120D. Oh, I do like that little umbrella holder right here. Separately, there is a V-mount plate. So let's see if this little guy can do much here. Not sure if this battery is good enough for that, but let's try striking. And there we go. I wonder if I could just plug straight into this battery. Is it gonna explode? Like, oh no, it works. Hey, check that out. Let's see if I crank it up. Maybe then it'll explode. I don't know. I feel like this probably is not, oh yeah, see? So you're just sitting there at like, I don't know, 50%. So that is kind of nice actually, you know? If you had a good enough battery, you can power your camera and the light off one battery. Do some of you guys have the Aperture version of this? Can you kind of let me know how this compares to what you've got? Epidemic Sound. I think they sent this to me like, last year and it was sitting in the back corner of the P.O. box. It chased us down and they're like, oh hey, there was one more just way in the back for you. We just wanted to say thank you for this year. A little Christmas gift. <laughs> oh, look at that. Is that a laptop sleeve? Epidemic sound. Link down there in description if you like the music. Custom sweater. It says potato jet. Taxes are complete. Tax returns pretty soon. So are we gonna try to put that rain thing in? Look at this beautiful C stand work over here, huh? Let's just huh? leave it as a permanent installation. Yeah, oh, I think that works well. Remember how we were using C stands to just like hang all our clothes? They're so useful, but they're just really heavy. They're really hard to transport, but I mean, they can kind of hold lights in any position or flags or whatever this thing is. But you have to know how to use them too. There's a lot of rules. You want to make sure that you put the weight on the right side of the knuckle. You want to make sure the weight's over the big leg and you got a sandbag on the big leg. I kind of feel like I should make a video entirely on C-stands. I don't know. Let me know if that's something I should do. Oh my God, guys. Carrie hasn't actually read the comments yet, which is the first time ever. I always try to wait until the comment reads so I can do like a genuine reaction. But Carrie's over here always sneaking them in. Also, I've been getting a bunch of spam accounts in the comments that reply to a lot of your comments. Going like, oh, you want something, but it's like clearly a fake account. So if I respond to you, I'll always respond from either the Potato Jet account or Gene Nagata account. So definitely don't text the WhatsApp number or something like if it feels scammy, it probably is scammy. I think most of you know that. But I would hate for someone to get scammed because uh -huh. they commented and they thought they were talking to me. That, like, that would really suck. Yeah. So just like, don't fall for any of these scams, please. I'm so happy to see Sam is doing well. Yeah, he's doing yeah. some serious adulting. Yeah, it's very cool. It's all grown up. Matt Day says, following up on my ADHD medication comment, now about a full weekend and it feels like it's been a game changer for me. I've been able to stay more organized and on task with things like I used to, which helps my OCD, which then helps my anxiety. It's like a snowball effect. Really glad I decided to give it a try. Yes, I'm also a full-time YouTuber, mostly film, photography, and photo book videos. And I still get excited like a kid when you read my comment in this video. I'm really happy that it's working out for you. I'm a little over a month in now and I uh, kind of figured out exactly where I want to be in terms of like medication and stuff. I'm just going for like a really, really low dose. Like I yeah. don't want much. 
because it can really feel like intense. But when I find that like perfect right amount, it's just like perfect for me. It felt like before I would keep working harder and harder, but my productivity would go down and down. But now I feel like I have more control over what I'm gonna work on at this point. I don't know why all of a sudden I feel like we need a boat. I know, right? Wow, the Panasonic autofocus has improved so much. There are a few spots where the GH6 lost autofocus, but this is a 12 minute vlog. GH6 performed better than any Panasonic I've ever seen. I do like the GH6. No, it's a great camera for a specific Job. Like if you come from a cinematography background, there's a lot of things that you would really appreciate about it. Also, Peter from the last vlog here, he has a GH5 and he says he shoots on a set of Voigtlander lenses that are all f.95. That's what makes Micro Four Thirds kind of cool. So you're probably getting like a depth of field like of a F1.8 on the larger sensor, but you still have that super sensitive low light gathering. You get an f1.2 lens with optical stabilization. You know, you can't do that on full frame. Carrie looks so badass in a motorcycle helmet. Sam's got all union, health insurance, Netflix, gym, decaf, and poop apps. Blessings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here 6% for gear, 14% for jean, 80% for PETA. Yay. Look at you, you little superstar. Because of you, I learned FPV, then I crashed my drone, and then I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, keep trying though. I swear it gets more fun after the first 50 crashes. <laughs> Damn, Local 600. I need to hear more about that, Sam. Local 600, like, that's when you get into, like, big boy job. Opposed to, like, gig work, like, I've never stopped doing. I still just feel like I'm just doing gigs here, gigs, yeah. So you're saying <laughs> Sam is adulting better than you? I think he is, honestly. He really is. Tucker says, Gene, would you expand on the comment, I don't get frustrated nearly as easily as I used to. I think that's one of the biggest things I've really noticed is that I have a lot more patience for things that I should have patience for. And then I completely just cut out the stuff I shouldn't have patience for. I think frustration is the word for a little while. I was like, is this anger? But I don't think I'm angry. No, I'm not like, an angry person at all. But frustration, I think that's the word. Yeah, it was almost like you couldn't cope. I think one of the times I got like the most frustrated was when I was trying to put the shift key back into <laughs> that MacBook Pro. I was like, why the hell does this go? I watched like a bunch of reviews. I spent like two hours on it just to get this freaking thing back in and it just wouldn't go in. It would get to me and I can't step away. I cannot step away. How's your apartment search going? <laughs> say, say, it's going. <laughs> Some people were commenting like, oh no, Dylan's moving away, but Long Beach is oh. like really close. Yeah. <laughs> Moving away from where I was, basically, yeah, you know? But still, like, really close by. Oh, dang, this is strong. So today we're testing out coffee from Mere Coffee Roaster, which is actually someone that reached out after they watched the vlog. Really knowledgeable. And they have a podcast, Super too, friendly. right? They have a, yeah, they have a YouTube channel. A link right there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. You guys have already tried the coffee, though? Yeah, we yeah. did. Probably one of the best I've tried in long time. Like they all smell good, but different. So are we getting close to finalizing the coffee? Yeah? Very close. So there's a special way to taste the coffee, huh? You gotta... This one's definitely much more bitter. This one and then the Cafe Organico. They both have like this taste to it, I feel like. I think that one's my favorite. Too. That's a favorite. Wait, this, this middle one, right? This one is like not enough, and this one I feel like is like... Too much? Too much. Yeah, my favorite. This one's my second, this one's my third. Okay. This one's our favorite. This one's our favorite. Alright, ready to see what it is? This is Guatemala. Can you see it? Guatemala. Guatemala, yeah! yeah Alright! And you too, right? Yeah. That so was we the all one. agree. We all kind of landed on the same exact one, which is actually kind of interesting. Seriously, it's one of the best coffees I've tried. And I've tried a lot. You wanna see? <laughs> I've tried them all. Yeah. Like, how many bags do I have here? And this is just a few months. I remember reading the email where you had this like huge description of the type of flavor you're going for with like all these complicated words <laughs> I've never heard of. But it seemed like you guys were speaking your own language. And he's like, no, I totally get what you're getting here. Let me send you this one. Yeah, and he picked it up and he knew exactly what we wanted and what he had to send. Oh, so yeah, we're all on the same page. So shout out to Mark. Yeah, we're going to have to come visit you guys in Washington yeah. or something. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, look at this. Some care guides. Paula, you designed this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> if you order any of the merch, link down there in the description, you get one of one of these. You guys have just been packing it straight out of here. Doing this and yeah. then like packing some Maybe clothes. And... Packing <laughs> but construction is in full throttle right now. So yeah. Links down there in the description for some merch. Also, this is Baloo. It's okay. He doesn't like anything. 
Baloo sends out mixed signals sometimes because he loves getting pet, but then he just sounds so scary. But you love getting pet. And look, watch if I stop. Oh, he's like more. Oh, you're so scary. I think it'd be cool if you guys come to the coffee shop and you see a secret password. Like you'll get like a card kind of like this. Like they'll be behind the counter and be like, slip one. <laughs> but it'll be like a map of the area that the coffee shop is in. And there are so many filming locations and photography locations like within a few minute drive. And even walking distance from there, there's like a bunch of spots that you can go and photograph and shoot. That can be kind of interesting. I don't know. Is that something that you guys would think would be cool? Because I've been collecting all my locations for filming like the potato jet videos. Even if I share it on the vlog, it's like, okay, someone in Tennessee is not gonna find this useful. But if someone's actually at the shop, you go two blocks down that way, you can get this like shot of the bridge. And then also if you're trying to go get bokeh, you should go there at night. And like, I know all the spots to shoot around there. I think the studio is gonna have a lot of loyal following. Like I think yeah. that a lot of people are gonna- Regulars? Yeah. You're gonna start competing and everything now? I will one day. Yeah? I really That'll be want cool. to. That'll be cool. I really want to, but I'm just starting. I'll try to compete next year or something. Oh, that'd be cool. You like advanced a lot in the coffee world very quickly. That's huh. all I do. Too, man like yeah. I'm watching videos all day listening to all the podcast reading books like Paula knows like I'm just coffee yeah, all day. Just coffee. <laughs> it gives me a perfect excuse to drink a lot of coffee yeah like, we've had a few other snags but I think we're not too far off track permits are all like cleared 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 so now it's just like all right how fast can we get it ready now how excited are you guys to be opening pretty soon i think i'm more nervous than you we've never owned a coffee shop before so we're like we don't know what we need to do every day but luckily enough of you guys have actually reached out and offered all kinds of advice a lot of our coffee contacts now are through youtube like like yeah. juan yeah right? he's really yeah. good guy and he was met through youtube yeah mark who's sending us this coffee and then we have people offering like advice on operational. Are you anxious or? Are I'm you... anxious, I'm nervous, cause I like, I have my learning curve. For me, multitasking can get very overwhelming. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be a matter of like figuring out the flow and yeah. all. And honestly, that's the fun part. Cause right now I feel like this is the non-fun part. Getting the permits, yeah. that's been fun, I'm sure. As long as we have that open, we'll figure everything out. Yeah. Like, it makes it really tough because it's very hard to predict how long the process is gonna take yeah. for the permitting and all that. Cause like right now, it's so hard to get a hold of someone within the city. And I actually talked to another business owner that opened before COVID and he's like, yeah, like it was easy to get a hold of everybody. Now you call, you go in this infinite call cycle loop forwarding. Uh, but everything on that side is pretty much done now, huh? Yes. A lot of navigation. <laughs> yes. Through oh my legal God. Stuff. No. I would literally spend hours. And the thing is, I get obsessed until I find a freaking answer. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know when to quit. <laughs> I don't know when to stop and be like, okay, you're tired. You're, you're not going to find anything. I know exactly what you're talking about. Do you think that's at all from the ADD, like your obsessiveness? On I things? think so. Yeah. yeah. I have to find an answer and I can't. That's, stop. that's exactly how I am. Are you guys the same or not really? Not really. I mean, Paula no, was yeah, you, you, fine. You. you were, you spent like an entire day non-stop looking at like the toilet height. She read the whole like toilet yeah, manual like, from I somewhere. Like <laughs> the ADA for restaurants, the, the plumbing code, the everything. I don't have that. I can tell myself like, okay, I need to stop. Yeah, Just stop. think about something Let else for a while. Out. You probably can do that too. Like, I okay, I'm done with this. Time to detach and oh, take yeah. a break. Because I would tell you, I'm like, just come back to it later. And you're like, I can't. <laughs> I spent so much time trying to put a shift key back into a MacBook that it popped up. Everyone's like, you do it like this. And I'm like, that's exactly what I'm doing. Medication definitely helps me control that. Like as soon as I'm like, I shouldn't be wasting my time on this, yeah. I can like finally step away. I'm aware of it. I don't know if it happened to you, but when I got the diagnosis from the psychiatrist, I was like, am I really thinking like, am I faking it or something? I think one of the things that really made it clear for me was that they said, oh, it's something that you have from childhood. So what was your childhood like? Exactly. And then I was like, oh my gosh. I thought of like all the memories. Yes. Oh my God, that was all these signs. And then I was like me. obsessed doing that. Yes. <laughs> so I couldn't stop thinking about my childhood. It's been an interesting ride the last like yeah. month or so. Like it really was like a pivoting point for me. Literally when I started, I asked Mateo like, this is how <laughs> like you feel? And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, what are you looking at now? Some, some front doors. Yeah. But again, I just want to say like, seriously, thank you guys for all the support you 
you've been giving us to make this coffee shop possible. Everything from just like the positive comments to the advice to sending over coffee. It really does give us a sense of like, oh, we can do this. I don't want to put too much pressure on Mateo, but he makes a mean latte. Yeah, it's so cool that you guys are here kind of joining us on this journey because it is a scary journey. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty, you know, yeah. will, will anyone even want to come? Will people <laughs> like that? I think so. I feel like we're pretty no, good. We're covering a lot said, of bases. If you build it, they will come. Yes, that's, <laughs> so we're super excited to do this and just super excited to be a part of it. Again, Mateo and Paula are really, you know, running the ship. We're just kind of like, helping out in the ways we can Supplemental. And, but even just like being like the sideline players and all this like it's still pretty scary and it's a big project so it props is. to Mateo and Paulo very exciting stuff coming out a month from now things will look a lot different so hey <laughs> are we gonna go over and uh show an update of the build over there you want to show the update of the yeah, building yeah. oh well that is gonna have to wait for the next vlog because I'm just trying to post this right now so okay see you guys